The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Well, people ask me questions all the time. You know, what about Barack Obama? What about Zulu and Arpaio? When are they bringing something forward? And, of course, if you stay tuned to Freedom Friday, if you stay tuned to the PNN Network, if you're subscribed to the PNN Network to get our uh, Twitter feeds and email blasts and all that, uh, then you, 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 you know what's going on. And uh, I told you guys, uh, I think it was last week, maybe the week before, uh, that had a conversation with Mike Zulu. And uh, anyway, uh, the bottom line is... Uh, that Arpaio and Zulo are still moving forward. It, the, the criminal investigation is still underway. They've not given up. They've not uh, gone away. Uh, no one has gotten to them, or no one's gotten to me. I've not gone dark. I've not gone silent. Uh, uh, but Mike Zulo said that he is just not going to talk about this publicly anymore until, boom, they bring it forward. Because it's at that point in the investigation where the stuff they have has to be close to the vest, has to be kept close, and they can't take any chance, any chance at all, of any hint of where they're going or what they might do coming forward. Now, my promise, I'm going to say this again, and don't read anything into this. This doesn't mean anything, except it's been my promise from the beginning. As we move forward, if for some reason, and Zulo has not said this, and neither has Arpaio, but if for some reason this thing doesn't come to pass, then I will be at liberty to tell you a lot more about it and why it didn't come to pass and what all's involved in it. But in the meantime, it's still headed that way. It looks like it's still going to come to pass, and uh, those are the assurances that I'm getting. But they're just not talking about it publicly. So, And listen, for people who say, well, they better come forward and, you know, it's up to them. No, no. Arpaio and Zulo are not the saviors of America. Uh, they're not the villains of America. Uh, the saviors and, villain, and villains uh, uh, should have been Congress, uh, the media, uh, federal law enforcement, federal courts. Uh, Congress is charged with the Constitution of doing something about this, at least investigating this. And for those that laugh and snicker and say, why should they? Well, they investigated John McCain. They had a Senate Resolution 511 on him. So don't tell me they can't investigate Barack Obama. No hospital in this nation claims his birthplace. None. No hospital has a monument erected, a plaque erected, a statue arrested, uh, erected, <laughs> arrested. There you go, Freud and slip. Uh, no, nowhere. For just, just for an example. That's just a little, you know, kind of anecdotal example. But I mean, how weird is that? America's first black president, and no hospital claims his birth. None. I mean, come on, folks. Come on. Okay. So. Zulo and Arpaio, they're involved in a deep criminal investigation. Let's let them go with it, you know? I'm, 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 I'm praying for them. I'm supporting them. I'm patting them on the back. I'm shoving them along. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. Now, if it all collapses later, we'll tell you about it. We'll report it. And, and if it comes forward, we're going to go with it right here. Okay? That's good enough. Brandon Big B, welcome to the show. So glad you're with us, man. Um, hey, listen, are you there? First of all, I guess i got to make sure you're there. I am here, and I have to tell you that... Um, I, I don't know if we can continue because since you believe that there's a possibility that Barack Obama was not born in this country, you probably align yourself to believe in, oh, I don't know, biblical end times or <laughs> the Second Amendment or yeah. the First well, Amendment. Well, let me, uh, let me, let, yeah, no, you're right. I mean, I, I, I'm a constitutional, uh, you, you, you know, uh, patriot. But, but let me just say this. I, I am not willing to declare you know, publicly, at least not now, that Barack Obama was not born in the United States. But here's what I'm willing to declare. Based upon the information he's brought forward, we don't know. And nobody knows. Based because as of right now, Barack Obama is truly the man from nowhere. It Truly, he is. I mean, I, I, the Congressional Research Service said that, Brandon Big B. They said nobody vetted this man. And then, of course, they covered by saying, and of course, there's no requirement that he be vetted, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Of course, the Congressional Research Service was wrong because Article 20 of the Constitution says that it is the Electoral College job. It is their responsibility to vet the candidate that's brought forward to be put up as president. So, Well, maybe, maybe if he had been properly vetted, not only would we know where the man from nowhere really is from, but maybe we would also know that he had deep, deep ties to radical Islam, yeah. to the Muslim Brotherhood, uh, so much so that his brother, uh, one Malik Obama, for many years now has been helping to raise money for the Muslim Brotherhood. Yeah. Uh, even so much as doing so through tax-exempt organizations in the United States. 
And we would have known that had he been vetted. But as a matter of fact, he wrote about his connections to Sunni Islam and the Muslim Brotherhood in his books and papers beforehand. So, so we well, did he, kind of... Yes, yes, he did. And people like you and I that bothered to vet him on our own knew that. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.